Hello everyone, and welcome to Soda Giant, the internet soft drink show served ice cold. I am your host, John, the Soda Giant, and we have a very fun episode today. Uh, if you remember, it had to be like three weeks ago now, I posted a picture of some beverages I picked up at Hot Topic. Today we are drinking the last of those beverages. Save the best for last, hopefully, maybe. Uh, so today, we are drinking Duff Beer. Don't! Actually, it's Duff Energy Drink. Uh, not Duff Beer. Uh, this is like Simpsons licensed official merchandise. It is made by the Boston America Corporation. BostonAmerica.com uh, This was a pricey drink. Uh, I believe it was $1.99 or $2.99, so you know, you're kind of paying for the novelty of the beverage. Um, it is a 12-ounce can. It is made with high fructose corn syrup. Uh, big surprise there. Um, so it is an energy drink. I have no idea what it tastes like. I have no idea what to expect. I just think it's cool because it's a can of Duff beer, uh, even though it's an energy drink, but still I'm calling it Duff beer because let's call it energy beer. Duff energy beer. That's what we're drinking today. So really excited about this beverage. I think this more than anything is just fun. Uh, it's all about having fun sometimes. So let's crack it open and see if it's actually worth buying or if this is something you stick on your shelf. In either way, I'm keeping this can. I'm, I'm amassing a small collection of the package, packages, uh, the bottles and cans that I really like, so uh, this one's definitely going on the shelf. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Uh, so I would say really right off the bat, it smells like a traditional, um, a traditional energy drink. Got definitely a little bit of a citrus thing going on. Um, doesn't smell terrible, doesn't smell offensive, so uh, a good sign so far. Let's have a swig. So, definitely a citrusy, kind of lemony kind of flavor almost. Um, and it's and it, it maybe a little orangey. And it's really not bad at all. Um, some energy drinks, I know that we've gone through this in the past, where they're just offensive, they taste nasty, they're really strong, they have this weird uh, back-end aftertaste that tastes like chemicals, tastes like you ate, you know, a box of chlorine or something. It, it, they just never uh, sometimes sit right on the back-end. This one's actually not bad. The, the citrus flavor is, is quite nice. Um, it's not hard to drink. It's not funky on the back-end. Um, this is just as ice cold as possible, which makes me think I could slam this if I really wanted. Yeah, there, there might be a little bit of that funky taste on the back end, um, but it's definitely subdued over with this um, nice flavor over the top of it, so you're not really getting that funk out of it in the end. Pretty nice flavor. Um, I would rate this a buy. I think, you know, more likely than not, if you're buying this, you're buying it for the novelty of the beverage. You're not buying it because you need an energy drink or because you're thirsty. Um, you're buying it because it's a can of Duff that you can sit on your shelf with your other Simpson stuff. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And, um, you know, I, it's a buy. I think it's a buy. It is obviously expensive, uh, so it's not something that you're probably going to drink every day, but it's not bad. And uh, congratulations to the Boston Beverage Corporation, or whatever their name was, Boston America, for actually making a respectable energy drink out of, out of what I expected to be uh, just kind of a throwaway, kind of, uh, you know, we package this crap beverage in a cool bottle, and, and we're just hoping to sell it on the, on the Duff kind of name. But they did a pretty good job with the, the drink on the inside, too, so congratulations to them. Um, and good stuff, good show. Uh, as always, thank you for joining me here on Soda Giant. You can catch me on the internet at sodagiant.com. You can also follow me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash sodagiant. Of course, on Facebook, facebook.com slash sodagiant. And you can subscribe to me on iTunes, or you can subscribe to me on YouTube if you really want, uh, or anywhere, uh, join me anywhere that things are found, and you'll find me. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.